gamingfreak.com Hello! Hello! And welcome to the Amar Logi Spotlight. <clears throat> I have uh, uplinks to 5 and Amar Logi to 5, so I've got a suit that can put down 7 uplinks with 2 replacements uh, if needed. And this is just a spotlight to show that uh, fit. It is not meant to be a fighting fit or a killing fit or anything like that. It is purely meant for uplink placement. Uh, if you're good with the flaylocks, uh, you can probably get a kill. I can't believe that guy didn't take any damage from the second shot there. But anyway, uh, moving on. So yeah, so as you can see, I'm just pretty much giving you a view of what it looks like when someone is uplinking. I've already died a few times in this match because uh, we, we were in a difficult position and situation. I've just edited out the deaths just to show you guys what it looks like uh, from this player's perspective if they are just uplinking. Uh, it would be nice if more players ran uplinks, um, but people don't like uplink places so much as you'll see in a in a second. I get an orbital just for me at this stage of the game as well. So here we go. There it is. <laughs> so so you gotta love gotta love the hate, so to speak. But anyway, yeah. Uplink uh, placement is really important in the game. Uh, you can place them up high if you have a team that you know is gonna drop down in a smart way. Uh, onto other elevated positions to then uh, move from there or if the team is not going to be doing that you want to be putting them on the ground in places uh, and to keep to keep the, f the spawns fresh if you can s switch suits or if you can keep uh, moving where the uplinks are placed and stay alive that's uh, really important uh, also areas that are, are less conspicuous as well or out of the way and if you can put them so that the uplinks can also cover each other that's also something that's uh, an interesting thing or some somewhere that people don't normally go so often people don't go on this middle section so that's just a, a slightly different place to put it or or you know out of the way out of the reach of uh, the, the standard scans so the game initially was quite even as you can see on the MCC but we were starting to lose quite um, consistently uh, especially with vehicles being on the map and stuff so I opted to instead of uh, put them up put the uplinks up high as previously stated as well I decided to put them low for faster uh, movement into the points and also the enemy weren't clearing these uplinks they were looking, they had dropships going around all the top towers but they didn't have anyone looking on the ground in uh, all these different places so the fact that I can drop so many with a bonus to the number of people that can spawn at each one and the time reduced because I have a proto logi that I'm using here to do this uh, is really nice, it, it makes a, a nice nice difference so what I'm trying to do is also get an angle uh, for each uplink where they can surround a point. So you saw on Charlie I put one on top and two, one on each side and then here I've put uh, one in a little alcove, one uh, behind the one building and one up here on the hill. I think I initially put down some others on by Charlie on the ground so what I'm doing here is I'm using one of those, I'm going to remove one of those uplinks by placing another, um, is what I was thinking of doing. But then I decided, hold on, I'll just bring in the orbital first, because you know, the guys were screaming for it. And this was quite a, quite a nice one, if I remember correctly. They was, I, we didn't have scans, but this helped me uh, place it nicely, <laughs> which is quite lucky. As you can see there, some nice points, and we get a, another orbital. So what I'm doing here is placing the uh, uplinks. What you can see as well is the way I'm placing them. I'm not just running in and placing the uplinks facing the wall. Because when you spawn in and you're facing a wall, firstly you're like, where the hell am I? 
uh, you're quite disorientated, you know, you've got to find your position. If you put an uplink facing outwards, people instantly have a better sense of direction. Um, and also they can normally nine times out of 10 see uh, someone that's shooting them at least, or at least uh, at least see what's going on outside, so to speak, or, or outside the uplink vicin in immediate vicinity. So that's some some little tips. On other maps, there are better places to to put the uplinks. But as you can see here, I'm I'm more trying to distract with my uh, fit rather than than get kills. Um, but I see an opportunity here, and so I'm trying to stop the hack as quick as I can. And yeah, so that's what this fit is for. In this video, normally by now I would have made my way and switched fits. To be more combat capable, I just wanted to to give you guys a, a better um, uh, indication of what it's like if you do come under fire as a, as a, this this fit. This fit is essentially one uh, armor rep, three uh, kinetic catalyzers, uh, three uplinks. Uh, you have to put different uplinks for those of you who are new to this. Same with nano hives, same with remotes and proximities if you want more than one kind. Um, if you want to place more than, like you can't have all, all uh, the, like there's a proto uplink where you can put three down. But you can't have all of that one because as soon as you put three down and then you put the fourth one down, the first one you put down from the initial stack will get removed. Which is a bit annoying because, in theory, you'd think you could at least take three of the same na uh, like uplinks or nano hives stuff like that, but you can't. So what you have to do is fit, you know, different prototype uh, versions of of uplinks. Um, and so as you can see here, I'm I'm in a very squishy fit. Um, so I'm just really harassing and and distracting as much as I can using the cover as quick as best I can. So the reason I've got the uh, kinetic catalyzers is so I can be fast to put down the uplinks as quick as possible, uh, you know, to, to duck out of cover. It's not quite a scout, but it's not bad for an Amarlogy at the speed that it runs. So uh, yeah, and then um, third orbital already, I think. So this was a really, really nice game. And yeah, so again, you can see it's quite hard even when you do land a shot near near a target doesn't always it's not always near enough so <laughs> so yeah it's uh, not the most ideal combat uh, fit but it is a good distraction fit so you can like this guy came in to engage me and now in come the reinforcements and now now he's a bit stuck and and there he goes so they've now got two more people spawned in and again it's not an ideal fit but if you've got a, a steady hand or whatever you can you can get some nice kills especially if you can hit direct or if you've got <laughs> I was speaking to someone today about uh about some aim as, uh, auto aim as it, it should be called and um with the flay lock and apparently it's quite brutal at close range so uh if you haven't discovered that yet that's probably a fit of the month waiting to uh, happen ironically with the flay lock I know, right? So yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope the tips of at least putting down an uplink in a certain way makes spawning easier. Um, you know, stuff like that. You, c you don't always have to throw the uplink. If you look down at your feet, it'll place it quite nicely. So there's all these kind of things. I hope you guys found that useful. And I hope that uh, more, more people start putting down uplinks because there's definitely a lack of uplinks on them and I will say that the Amar Logi can get 8 second spawns which is I think the fastest so that's uh, it's not not too not too shabby okay guys please remember to like favorite and subscribe I really appreciate it and it, it helps me know that you guys are still enjoying these uh, these videos uh, check out my other videos as well something a bit different not necessarily uh, dust wise but you know something a bit different so Thanks again, guys. See you next time.